What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys a really cool trick that allows you to disable unauthorized access to your notifications on your lock screen. Now, if you know, you use Samsung phones a lot, you know if you have your notifications set up regularly, you can just tap on here, see your notifications. You can see here, I've got one from NordVPN because I'm not connected. And you can also swipe down the quick panel and take a look at things up there like what you're connected to on Bluetooth. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to stop that on a case-by-case -case basis. It's very simple, and that's what we're gonna get into. Before we get started, I wanna thank my son Jonathan for giving us a dyno to hang out always in the video. Today we have the green and red T-Rex over here. Huge shout out to him. Um, like I said, if you have a situation where you don't want people accessing your phone in an unauthorized way, uh, it can be difficult to prevent that inside of the Android operating system, and of course, with Samsung. So what we're gonna do is show you how to get rid of this problem today. I already showed you that it's easy to access your notifications by tapping and also the quick panel by swiping down. So what you can do is go into the aforementioned quick panel, go up to the top here where you have the three dots menu and go to edit buttons. So when you tap on edit buttons, you're gonna get a bunch of other options up here at the top for different quick panel buttons that you can add. And the one that we wanna add in particular, if you swipe over, you'll see it right here. It is the kids mode button right there. It says kids. Now, don't worry if you don't have kids, this is not really being enabled for the purposes of letting your kid use the phone. We're using it to stop that um, unwanted access to notifications in the quick panel. So go ahead and drag that somewhere down here in your quick panel. And then at the bottom, just hit the done option. So you'll see here, if I swipe over, I actually find it where I put it, put it right there actually. Uh, it's gonna be in my main quick panel here at the bottom row right in the middle. So now if I wanna turn off this unwanted access to the notification, the dinosaur is getting a little excited about this video. He's sliding on down there. So if I want to, again, notice, I can tap and see my notifications, swipe down the quick panel. If I wanna get rid of that, what I can do is swipe down my quick panel really quickly, go to kids mode, uh, if you've never used it before, it is going to go ahead and open up the Samsung Kids app. You have to agree to the terms and conditions. Of course, the main purpose of this, again, is to let your kids use your phone. You can also choose to add the kids to the app screen here. Continue, it tells you a little bit about the safe place for kids, some other things, uh, and to allow it to send you notifications. Now, once you do that, Kids Mode will be enabled, but here's the great thing. We're not gonna use the Kids Mode, but once you go ahead and lock your phone with the power button, you'll notice that when I come back here, if I tap on the notifications, I cannot view any of the notification information. And if I go to the very top of the phone, I cannot swipe down to see the quick panel. So this is an easy way to kind of get rid of this on a case by case basis. Um, and then if you wanna turn it off, you can just go back and turn the kids mode off. So then once you wanna turn it off, you just go back in here, go to the top here, and then you'll see here, you've got all these various options to get out of Samsung Kids. You can go to close Samsung Kids. It'll ask you to verify your identity, put in your pen, your pattern, your fingerprint, or your face ID, and it'll go ahead and go back to the regular mode. And then of course, I'm back to my traditional notifications by tapping, and I can also see the quick panel. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, what about the ability to do this in the settings where you can turn off the tap to show notifications entirely? And that is true, but the problem with that is, then you have to go back in there and turn that particular setting on every single time it's not something that you can quickly necessarily do. Whereas if you have the Samsung Kids option here in your quick panel, you could also put these quick panel options over here in One Hand Operation Plus. Um, and having access to your quick panel in One Hand Operation Plus, which I think I have on the diagonal, um, you could then quickly enable that uh, and then you would be able to leave your phone sitting somewhere and then come back and turn it off instead of having to go through the ability to turn the setting on and off inside the settings menu because it is a little bit buried. So I thought some people would appreciate this. It's a creative use of the Kids app. And of course, if you do have kids, the Kids app is a great way to kind of moderate and limit what it is that they see on the smartphone. Let me know if you guys are aware of this trick, if you find it useful. Uh, if you do, please subscribe to the channel for more great Samsung tips.